Hello guys, welcome back to DSFR. We all have good news today. Well, good news the way you see it. Um, today Ben Bishop has been acquired from the Kings to the Dallas Stars. Um, for a fourth round pick. Um, let's get into it. So, my first impressions are, um, I think they're going to, um, protect Ben Bishop in the lot or in the expansion draft. I think that's a given, basically. Um, and, you know, I think the scenery could help him. I mean, the new scenery didn't really help him in Los Angeles, but he, he knew that he wasn't going to stay there, so, I don't know. It's a confidence thing for him. But, um, I think that, um, if we were to resign him, we would have three expensive goalies who would go to the AHL, I don't know, maybe Niemi. Um, but, you know, for a fourth round pick, you could get something, you could not. But this the Stars scouting team, they like to draft terribly in the first three rounds and then draft pretty well in the last six, or the last four, um, it seems like. But um I think that's I think that the they made a good move here, um, for just a fourth round pick if they were to re sign him. Um but I I think that they're preparing for this expansion draft here so that they don't have to protect Lettinen or Niami. So if Golden Knights for whatever reason want him, um, they can have him. But Bishop didn't have he probably had his worst or a worst year in a couple, few years um, with Tampa. Was moved to Los Angeles to not do that great. Um, <clears throat> this could be a comeback here for him um, if the defense gets better. I think we could have a good good overall um, defensive. Court. Or we could have a good overall defense around him. I think he'll play well. Um, that's what happened with Tampa Bay. So, um, I mean, I, 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 I don't know how to feel about this move. On one end of the spectrum, I like it because we get Ben Bishop for potentially so cheap. Um, but on the other side, it's like um, if you were to resign him and they don't get um, taken on the expansion draft, you have you would have three, um, you'd have three expensive goalies on your hand. Um, Bishop would. And take at least like six million, I'd say five million maybe. Um, if they can get into that, I mean, Stars have a promising team. They get that defensive core fixed up, um, so maybe that Bishop will want to come here. I mean, I don't know. It, I, f I feel like it's a similar situation. The Tampa Bay, it just a little bit worse. Um, the injuries did. Um, I think Tampa Bay and Dallas were two very similar teams. Um, except for that Dallas don't come close to the playoffs, but I'd say that they're similar teams. That, like, if they're not injury-riddled and the defense has a good season, um, they can be a great playoff team. Um, or not a great t playoff team, a great just overall team. Um, <clears throat> I think that they're f very similar teams. They have, like, score, they have score, it's like, they have front-line guys that are paying a lot, um, and they have the depth guys, and... I think that's similar to our situation here in Dallas. Now, um, I hope it works out well for everybody. Um, I'm hoping Ben Bishop has a very vitalized season. Um, they definitely. Um, but honestly, if they were to resign, he's definitely our day one starter. Um, maybe they go flatten him, but I wouldn't, to be honest. Um, I, I think that this team, if they do get Bishop, and he has a better, uh, or he has a comeback year, um, you could see this team making the playoffs in all honesty. Uh, I think Ben Bishop has better potential than he had last year, and he has potential to be better. Um, I think that this is a, it could be a ba bad trade, it could be a worthless trade, and it could be a fantastic trade. Um, I think that the, I think it was smart for both te teams, honestly, right now, first impressions. I literally found this out like five minutes ago, um, I come home, and I look up, I watch a few videos and then I see the hockey guy shout to him, um, talking about it. I'm like, holy crap, man! That happened. Just that that just happened. Um, so I think it could benefit both teams. Um, he, I think, it, yeah. Um, I think I think this is a good move by them. I didn't expect it. If I if I if the stars were gonna get Ben Bishop, I would say they get him for free agency. Um, but I I I'm all for this. Um, if it works out, of course. Um, next up is the defensive, um, defensive group, but I think that having one more year in their belt for people, for, our um, players like, um, Honka, Alexiak, um, Johns, I'll make a separate video about their, ex um, expansion, 
um, plan, or not the expansion plans, but the expansion possibilities. Um, that'll take a defense most likely, um, from us. Um, if I'm hoping in all honesty, I'm hoping that it's, um, John's, because they could take Alexiak, which would be terrible. Um, really don't want that to happen, but, you know, now I'll lose a player. I think that could be a good, um, toxic, top, top six defenseman for Los Angeles, or not Los Angeles, um, Las Vegas, um, but I think that the Kings did a good job on their end. I they would get nothing for Ben Bishop. They weren't gonna resign him. Um, so I think that that it was a good move by them. It could be a great move by the Stars. Um, I'm hoping for the best here because the goaltending was horrid last year. Um, if we if he does get signed, um, <clears throat> I would send Niemi to the AHL um, to work on his game because he needs to have a little bit of work down there. Um, he has the pedigree, but he just needs to, um, he just needs to re recapture his game there. Um, I think the AHL is a good way to do that, um, unless going to like the KHL or something like that. Um, but we'll have voluntary Nachushkin votes likely back in this lineup next season, um, not in the KHL hopefully, um, which will boost our defense or offensive core because I think that was a piece that we were desperately missing. Um, you know, it's. I think the like the he was a he was like a perfect second liner for us, second third liner. Um that's something that we really needed. Um a score that wasn't Ben or Sagan or whatever. Um but I think that's all about all it is, I'll talk about right here. Um if guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.